You enter your room, and it automatically switches to your preferred lighting and ambient temperature. Imagine you enter the building with your ID card, and it automatically recalls how you like your coffee, and when your first meeting of the day is scheduled to begin, among other things. And this is because of ambient computing. The ambient computing experience is all around us, from smartphones and TVs, wearables, and voice-activated digital assistants to clever coffee makers, smart lighting, and daylight imitated alarm clocks. Hang around, and we'll uncover everything around this topic. Hello, and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we'll see how ambient computing is transforming your world. So let's get started. Semiconductors are getting common. The cost of manufacturing semiconductors has been decreasing steadily over the past few decades. This has made it possible to embed semiconductors into a wider variety of devices, including those that were previously considered to be too simple or too inexpensive to warrant a computer chip. As a result of these trends, we are seeing more and more gadgets around us becoming computers. For example, smart home devices, such as thermostats, lights, and doorbells, are all equipped with semiconductors that allow them to communicate with each other and with the internet. We're also seeing semiconductors being embedded in wearable devices such as smartwatches and fitness trackers. These devices can collect data about our health and activity levels, which can then be used to improve our health and well-being. In addition, semiconductors are being used in industrial applications, such as manufacturing and transportation. This is helping to improve the efficiency and productivity of these industries. IoT taking over And with the advent of cheaper semiconductors, the IoT industry is taking over. Those devices are becoming increasingly affordable and easy to connect devices to the internet. As a result, we're seeing more and more devices being connected to the IoT, including everything from home appliances to industrial machinery. The IoT is having a major impact on our lives in a number of ways. For example, it's enabling us to automate tasks in our homes and workplaces. It's also helping us to monitor and control our environment more effectively. Big Sharks on the Job the largest companies in the world are able to computerize an industry by using their resources and expertise to develop and implement new technologies. These companies often have large teams of engineers and scientists who are working on cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data analytics. Once a company has developed a new technology, it can use its scale and reach to quickly deploy that technology across the industry. For example, Facebook was able to computerize the communication industry by developing a new social media platform that was more efficient and user-friendly than existing platforms. Uber was able to computerize the taxi industry by developing a new ride-hailing app that was more convenient and affordable than traditional taxis. Airbnb was able to computerize the short-term lodging industry by developing a new platform that allowed people to rent out their homes and apartments to travelers. In each of these cases, the company was able to computerize the industry by offering a better product or service at a lower price. This forced existing companies in the industry to adopt the new technology in order to compete. Here are more specific examples of how the largest companies have computerized their respective industries. Apple has computerized the watch industry by developing the Apple Watch, and the new Vision Pro is about to break the industry barriers. Bitcoin has computerized the money industry by developing a new cryptocurrency that is decentralized and secure. Bitcoin also uses blockchain technology to track and record transactions. Google has dominated web surfing by developing a search engine that is more accurate and comprehensive than existing search engines. Microsoft's Bing is also in the race and is quickly catching up by using artificial intelligence. Quantum computing on cloud. As more people become further dependent on devices connected to the internet or tech devices in general, it will lead to massing a ton of data. This is because these devices collect a wide range of data about our activities, such as our location, browsing habits, and purchase history. This data can be used for a variety of purposes, such as improving the user experience, targeting advertising, and developing new products or services. However, it also raises concerns about privacy and security. The three biggest cloud providers, Azure, AWS, and GCP house a majority of the world's websites and other online services. This is because they offer a wide range of cloud computing services such as storage, computing, and networking. These cloud providers are also investing heavily in quantum computing. 
Quantum computing is a new type of computing that uses the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations. Quantum computers are much faster than traditional computers and have the potential to revolutionize many industries. There are a few reasons why these three cloud providers are legacy players getting big on quantum computing. First, they have the resources to invest in quantum computing research and development. Second, they have a large customer base that could benefit from quantum computing. Third, they are well positioned and to provide quantum computing services to their customers. Solving Cloud Computing Problem Quantum computing involvement that would be used primarily as a cloud computing tool for optimizing computation processing, cater to network latency, smooth interoperability of access networks, efficient data storage, and securing cloud computing. Quantum computers can be used to accelerate certain types of computations, such as those involving linear algebra and optimization. This can lead to significant speedups for cloud-based applications such as machine learning, financial modeling, and drug discovery. These computers can also develop a new algorithm for routing traffic across a network. This could help to improve the performance and reliability of cloud-based applications, which are essential in ambient computing. Simply, it can make your smart home more smart since quantum computers have been built and stored in a facility that can reach zero degrees Kelvin, aka absolute zero, coldest temperature in the universe for the measurement to occur, people shouldn't expect to have a quantum computer strapped to their PC or mobile devices anytime soon. But software and applications could benefit from the technology. Future of Ambient Computing Ambient computing will continue to use machine learning and other forms of artificial intelligence to create a digital workplace environment in which businesses will seamlessly and invisibly integrate technology into every business process, maximizing usefulness while minimizing distractions. IoT sensors will feed people's motions and routines into the cloud as technology in the ambient computing IoT ecosystems of homes and workplaces become entrenched in retail establishments, hospitals, and transportation services. AI systems will process this information and enhance the instructions they send to smart devices to carry out ambient computing scenarios. As a result, we will have a future with vastly improved experiences in which practically everything is integrated, interconnected, and intelligent without the jumble of programs and actions that exist today. The Risk Finally, the biggest thing regarding all of this would be security and risk of the innovation as pre-existing software and hardware may not be equipped with the proper encryption algorithms to deter post-quantum cryptography attacks. There are also new potential risks, such as security and data leaks that could occur from these IoT devices, and the communication infrastructure may not have this in mind. Not to mention further potential cybernet attacks that could arise in the not-so-distant future that have yet to be discovered when bad actors obtain access to a quantum computer. So that was it for today guys, hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, then like and share the video and subscribe to get quantified. Stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another important video. Till then, keep watching Quantumfy.